Empire Stadiums is proud to present one of the greatest trotters in history and the only Hamiltonian champion ever to stand in the Southern Hemisphere. Yankee Packer was an outstanding stakes performer at two, winning his last four races, including the Canadian Breeders' Championship. For the 1999 Canadian Breeders' Championship, two-year-old Colt Trot, this is it, the final eight. Sprint is on, Yankee Paco up out of the pocket. Trevor Ritchie isn't asking, and he's flying on the outside. Yankee Paco finally takes the best of You Had a Dream. Yankee Paco is the Canadian Breeders' Champion. At three, he completely dominated the Northern Hemisphere trotting scene. Yankee Packer won 10 races that year. All stakes, including nine in a row for earnings of $1.3 million. Among these wins was the most coveted prize in the world of trotting, the $1 million Hamiltonian. Yankee Paco earned his spot in the final after pulling away on the stretch to win his elimination convincingly. At three quarters in 125 and two, and Schnitker kicks out the plugs on Arm Road Trek. Bert Hanover is still there, first up on the outside. Monty Hall's going to need racing room, and here comes Yankee Paco, who's charging hard on the far outside. Trevor Ritchie and Yankee Paco surging toward the lead. Bert Hanover between horses second, Arm Road Trek third, Monty Hall weaving his way through traffic, but it's Yankee Paco as they trot to the the finish and Yankee Paco has won it. The following week, Yankee Paco was ready to etch his name in the history books and he did not disappoint. Leaving from post seven in a star studded field which included credit winner and dream master, Yankee Paco raced too wide without cover for the entire distance. Turning for home, Yankee Paco overpowered his competition, forging to the front in a great 153 mile. It's Yankee Paco to the front. Yankee Paco has it. Fast photo has dead aim on the outside. Armbro Trick is trying to close in. And credit winner on the outside with a late rally. They're in the stretch of the Hamiltonian. Yankee Paco. It will be Yankee Paco, the first Canadian side winner. Balanced image, Trevor Ritchie, 153 and 2. It was a dream come true, as evidenced by this jubilant winner's circle. With this remarkable performance, Yankee Paco proved he was the best in North America and was crowned three-year-old trotting colt of the year as a sire. Yankee Paco's first two Australian crops now racing are making a big impression with such notable two and three-year-old performance as Vic Brett Heat winner, class of her own. Class of her own up on the inside late. Outflash girl, class of her own. Class of her own on the sprint lane, took the lead and is pulling clear. Paige Olivia, a multiple Vic Brett winner. And Paige Olivia is going well. Baggy boots off the bit. Adhesive is looking for the northern fascia sprint lane run. Miss Eliza and Icy Icy are right down the outside. Paige Olivia is running on empty now. Baggy boots. Icy Icy with Miss Eliza wider and Adhesive up along the sprint lane. Paige Olivia having to dig deep. Baggy boots. Late Adhesive. Paige Olivia just in front with the head on the side. Turning for home. It's Paige Olivia. In front into the straight. Poetic Castle is after it. And then Elder Baron Breeze. Paige Olivia is nicely clear though, Elder Baron Breeze, Poetic Castle starting to battle now. Paige Olivia led, Elder Baron Breeze is going to have a crack at it late, Paige Olivia is in front though, and Paige Olivia led all the way. Tatlow Stakes winner, Our Flash Girl. Our Flash Girl on the outside, ranges up to the favourite Stone Diam who's trying to fight back, they're well clear, of a stylish jewel in third, or Gallop Stone Diam. Our Flash Girl now is pulling clear, and Our Flash Girl wins the third heat of the Tatlow Stone Diam. Miss Eliza and Our Flash Girl coming late down the outside. Moya Bumba's in front, it's done all the work. Trying hard, Our Flash Girl. Moya Bumba in front, coming out at Our Flash Girl, and it'll get up, Our Flash Girl, right on the line. Vic Bread Series heat winner, Red Caviar. Red Caviar's made good ground on the inside. Leave me in front. Leave me in tackled by Red Caviar. Coming through now, Sunset Tour. Red Caviar grabbed the lead on the inside and the first starter, Red Caviar. In the Northern Hemisphere, Yankee Paco's richest cult performance is the Ontario Sire Stakes Champion Beer Budget with earnings of $485,000 and a record of one fifty-five two. And it's Beer Budget almost home. Coming on between horses, Libra Vita. Here's Beer Budget. Beer Budget upsets in the Super Finals. Yankee Paco is a powerful 16 hands. Excellent confirmation and a great temperament. By world champion sire, Balanced Image, he is out of a full sister to the dam of super sire, Muscles Yankee. With his classic pedigree, race performance, earnings, improving siring ability, Yankee Paco will undoubtedly have a lasting influence on the Southern Hemisphere trotting breed for many years to come.